Great here, welcome back to Factorio. So, what is on the docket today? I We still need to get a little bit more power up and running on the solar portion. So let's head back over to the solar fields now that we've been able to produce a bit more solar panels. I like how I always lay solar panels at night. I, Yeah, that's really helpful, great. Nice. So let's get this creeped out here. And I do apologize on how dark it is, but I don't want to try to sneak any lights into this. And let's just put one more column here. There we go. So here's the wood and coal mixed line. Keeping this active. And let's look at our, our water. Okay. Up to 468 panels. I think I have to be up to 500 now. And in fact, I'm seeing where I'm going over 30 megawatts. Uh, you always need more power. Always. Especially when I go to switch these out to electric furnaces. And my iron... Yeah, there it is. This one's no longer mining. This one has got 284 left in it. My iron uh, deposit is just dying. I need to get more iron in here. And soon. That means I need to take a look at the map and see where I want to go for iron and actually start pushing out that direction. Now there's a large deposit up here with another deposit over on this side. That would be a good place to go. Uh, I was working on power armor. Explosive rocketry. Rawr. No. Let's get logistics three out of the way. I'm not going to use those for a while. I'm barely using any, any red belt right now as it is. I definitely don't need blue belt. Okay, oh, and last, let's let's get this. I no longer want any copper cable. Um, I never want any steel chests. And the big one that I want to do right now is... It's auto trash. I never want any coal. I never want any wood. So as you can imagine, what auto trash does is anytime that you pick up items in here under the specified threshold, it junks it. It just gets rid of it. Um ba -ba -ba. and what's the big the other big one? Huh, I didn't need that. And I also don't want it in my inventory ever. There we go. So let's get back to looking at our map. Now, the al the alternative is, if I look down here, there's a nice iron deposit right here south of this, this coal deposit. But, you know, this, this deposit looks a lot, a lot better. So let's head out there. Let's creep out there with our uh, stuff. Uh, let's see, there's a whole seven artifacts in here. Do I have more than seven in the logistics network? I don't think I do. Which is kind of embarrassing. Okay, well, for the time being, give me these, please. Thank you. Okay. 
Where are my... I want lasers. Give me lasers. I've got 50 and 50, so that's fine. It's still making the solar panels as quickly as possible. Okay. Logistics 3 is finished. We're going to be out there. Let's get more laser turret damage. And let's get our laser creep blueprint active. There it is. Okay. Oh, I know what I should do. Can I make them right now? Yeah. Let's make a couple of gates. So, how do I want to do this? Let's clear this out. That'll end some attacks, and then we'll clear out this one over here. So let's head over, yeah, right about here. And where's my gate? There it is. There we go. And of course I'm doing this at night, which is stupid. Where? Oh, wow. Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, I don't want that there. I want this to connect over here somewhere. There. I know what I should make. Where is it? I need wood. I'm outside the logistics network. This will work. Give me wood. And I need five more raw wood. What? Oh, because it keeps it, it keeps putting it into the trash slot. That's why. Make me. No, 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 no! Don't make five of them. Make me a combat shot rocket launcher. When did we get a rocket launcher? Okay, combat shotgun, and this can go into. The trash slots. There we go. The reason you want the combat shotgun is this is just... <laughs> Look at that shoot speed. Nice. Okay. I gotta stop saying okay. I've been watching some of my videos and I realize I say okay way too much. Okay? 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 No. Not okay. Shut up, great. So let's head out here. Okay. And this is where we'll uh, put up a defensive structure. Right about there, because, yep, there they are. Nope. Okay. Tear this back down. I don't care if I get a little wood in the way. Hehe, <laughs> he said wood. Let's get a bit more distance here. What I should do is research the tank tech and actually do this with a tank. Oh, come on. There we go. And, yep, I'm almost up to the next one, so... Okay. Now tear this back down. Hmm. 
This coal deposit looks really nice. And now we can basically go straight across this way. Okay, that's as close as I want to get with this. And let's go about right there. <laughs> it would help if they were actually turned the right way. <laughs> Oof. There we go. Let's just keep creeping it forward. There. Perfect. The aliens, I, I can see why they're there. Whenever I play on basically creative, which is when, you're, when you turn off the aliens, there isn't a lot of challenge to the game. I mean, it's fun puzzling everything out, but there's no real sense of urgency to it. But at the same time, the aliens are kind of... Once you get this, this creeping technique down, the aliens really aren't that big of, a, uh, of an issue. Oh, I need 20 electric engine parts. Whoops. Okay, well. Here is my steel. Not steel. Um, iron. Deposit. I gotta start getting in the habit of hitting shift on that. And. Let's put one right about. There. Okay, that's as close as it, in fact, that's too close. Too close, too close, too close. Okay, okay. Okay, that hurts. Die. That definitely hurt. What does this say? Okay. Okay, let's leave these up as a fallback position. I definitely got it a little too close. In fact, we're going to deconstruct that one. Oops. Okay, what's going on here? Hold on. Where are my robots? I got 14 and 6. I got my 20 total. Okay. The heck? Of course, here it is nighttime again. Laser turret shooting speed, 4. Gun turret damage, 4. Laser turret, 5. I'm not interested in. You now let's go for the turret speed. Okay. Let's push out again. To about there. You're relatively safe doing this in the middle of the night as long as you have enough engines because lasers take priority, power priority over everything else in the factory. So that's why whenever you're in the factory, that's why the, the lights blink all the time when the lasers go. Because they are, they are the first thing that gets power. Is this the entire base? Yes, it is. Okay. So, we can deconstruct these on our way back. Let's make sure that I got all the uh, the purple packs. Oh, I missed one right there. Okay. So now we have our... Can I deconstruct that? Yes, I can. Let's deconstruct everything over here. 
out to a reasonable area. And let's deconstruct this as well. So we've basically secured the iron here. Nice large deposit. Excellent. And I actually want to extend a pole out. Yeah, that's a bit close. Let's get rid of that that base as well. Okay, and now we need a... Huh, let's point them in the right direction. Another iron deposit over here. Okay, I think that's everything. And I'm going to cheat. I want to make sure that I get all of the alien artifacts. And by deconstructing, you actually get the alien artifacts back. There we go. And again, let's just deconstruct these on our way back. And that iron patch over there does have a uh, alien base next to it. Hmm. We want another there. And where's this base up here? Okay. To the north. Starting to get used to this. There we go. And let's get rid of these on the way back. So this is a, a good a good radius around this iron patch. So let's get it defended. Um, I don't think I'm going to have enough walls for this, unfortunately. So, auto trash, I do not want stone ever. Okay. And I'm definitely not going to build robo ports all the way up here. So, what I want to do for the time being is... Let's put laser turrets here and here and let's get it connected there. And there. And one more on the south side. Let's see if I can make it to where I can make an attachment to both of these. That looks good. Okay. So I'm relatively safe in here. Now let's get some walls up. here in the corner I don't care what it connects to 
I think the north side is definitely going to be where attacks come from. So, if I don't have enough wall, which I most definitely do not, let's leave the south side open. There it is. Of course, I don't have them perfectly lined up, but oh well. The nice thing is the aliens do not go after these power poles. Because the, the power poles themselves do not generate pollution. So they're just completely ignored by the aliens. Oh, I still have plenty of walls, so let's keep going. Let's bring this wall down first. Just get this completely closed in. There we go. I actually got it completely closed in. Nice. Okay, in fact, I do not want these right here. Let's get our standard defense set up. Get another corner position here. I already put a corner position up there. I've got center, corner, and we'll put a lighter. Let's just get as far, far down as possible. Yeah, just a lighter position here. Uh-oh. Yeah, this would have been bad if I had been attacking a base when this happened. I am actually completely out of electricity. And everything is just like running around going, please help me. Oh, that's not good. Well, here's a cheat. I just want to be able to go back. If you ever wondered how I got robots into my... Um, into my inventory. Uh, it's because I was right-clicking on something to deconstruct it and picked it up by accident. There we go. And yeah, you can pick them up out of the air, and then when you when uh, you do that, they immediately get a full charge again, which is kind of cheesy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want my gates. Let's put our gates right here. There we go. So now we've secured this iron outpost. And what I'm going to do is I'm finally, finally, finally <laughs> going to be running trains. Yay. I'm going to try to run a train up to... It's just going to be an iron train. It's going to be simple. Up to that base, back down here, into this base. And I'm might be smelting iron on this side. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to get the iron from here all the way over to the other side of the base. But we'll, we'll have to figure that out next time. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Have fun.